Hello and welcome comrade, I'm Geralt and this is tutorial 10 for workers and resources Soviet Republic. Today we are learning about trains. If you want to watch the previous tutorials the link to the playlist is in the description of the video. Alright, great topic for today. Create a rail crossover in front of the station. Will do comrade. Okay, that was too much of a zoom. Too much of a zoom. So the control helps you with the zoom much. Very much. Okay, crossover. There we go. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Place a double-sided semaphores around the station. So, in um, Transport Fever 2, we have the semaphores automatically placed in stations, but I don't think we have that here. Which means that if we put a double-sided um, semaphore here, we expect trains to go both ways, I imagine. Which makes complete sense, because this is the depot. Ah, we're going to do it here as well. What is these pink things? That's where the switch is, I guess. Place one-sided semaphores in front of the depot. How do you make them one-sided or two-sided at this point? Confusion. Aha! By uh, clicking more. So this one I placed in the wrong way. <laughs> or not? Okay. Place a semaphore letting trains out of the station. Okay, so this one is going that way, the right way. Place a chain semaphore letting trains into the station. So the chain ones, if I remember correctly, they were looking to the next one as well. So this one would be looking at the um, state of those two. Create a rail crossover in front of the station. Ah, okay, we have another station. Good job. Please... Uh, place double-sided semaphores in front of the station. Uh, so the same thing, basically. Perfect work. Place a semaphore letting trains out of the station. Will do. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. And now we have to put the chain one here as well. Lenin would be proud. Okay, build railroads to the third station. Sure. What's the problem? I don't get it. Okay, it wanted me to do it the other way. Oh, and we have a turning rail as well. Okay, that's how I like to do things as well. You're doing great, comrade. Of course I am. Connect the third station to the rest of the railway. Perfect work. But well, that's not very difficult, uh, comrade. Connect the third station to the rest of the railway. Like that. Okay. Good job. So now we will have to place some semaphores here, I imagine. One-sided. Yeah, because only this way is allowed here. One-sided semaphore, setting trains out of the station. You're doing great. Place a semaphore, letting trains out of the station. Another one. Good job. Ah, so we have to put one before the station, of course. Ah, and it also gives you the sections. Oh, that's so cool. 
this in the different colors are the different sections that we created uh, by adding the semaphores. As you can see, we have this blue for the station. The yellow is the junction here. And purple, that whole thing is one section right now because we haven't put any other. We did the same here with this semaphore. And we cut it over here. So there's one station here, uh, one station, one section. And we have sections here because of this semaphores and that one. Okay, now we have to do this uh, not super complex connection. Set up semaphores for this section on the railway. Use basic semaphores for trucks that are leaving the T-section and chain semaphores for trucks entering the T-section. So I guess unlike in Transport Fever 2, here you have to um, cut the sections when you have an intersection you still have to cut it with semaphores because as you can see here this whole thing is considered to one section and in Transport Fever 2 I think this would be a separate section already. So a good uh, rule of thumb for this game. Okay, of course we need a chain one here because we are crossing something. And as you can see, now that I place them, this one is already cut as a separate thing. It's so cool because I remember that this was not available in the beginning. When I first placed the game. Okay, so now we have the chain ones to look for the um, for this one and the state of the next one, so that they don't block the um, intersection here. Place semaphores in between parts of the railway system. On this system, trains will be moving on the right side. Ah, so we are going to break it even more. Cool. Perfect work. Ah, and it's so cool that you do have different sections here, but it still still shows you uh, the same color, which is very nice. Place semaphores in between parts of... Ah, okay, so we have to do more. I like very much this idea of uh, double-clicking. It's a little bit better than then uh, transport fever where you have to zoom in and try to place it on the right side of the of the truck with the depot part uh-huh good job build a rail construction office ah yeah so you have to build your own trains in this game. I mean, you can buy it, but it's not as interesting, I guess. So you have construction office, helicopter construction office, and rail construction office. And I'm curious what these numbers here are for. Four and eight. The size definitely is bigger. Excellent! Lenin would be proud. We will have to connect this, I imagine, with the rest of our network. Sometimes. What the hell? I don't understand. Ah! Okay, I got it now. <laughs> so we have to build this using resources. Good work. We will have to buy the resources, I imagine. Yes, of course. Oh, and electrical components. Yeah, that makes sense when you are electrifying it. Purchase a train for building roads. Agmu truck builder. Nice. Good work, comrade. Okay. Cool stuff. Very nice. So now we should be seeing this thing that we bought. When the workers come, right? We need to get some workers. And now it's going to come out. Is it? Open space storage. So we have storage here with the materials. Aha, there it is. 
So now it's going to start coming out and start building this realm. And this is how you do it with resources if you don't want to buy it with rubles. It's a fairly slow process, but it looks so cool. I love this part of the game and I think that's how we are going to play most of the playthroughs. If not all of them. Because it's the real way, you know? Otherwise the game is too easy and as a city builder I don't know how good it is if you just have to buy everything like in other city builders. Definitely have enough workers here. The problem would be, wow, this is not easy, like steel is difficult to produce and electrical components that may not even start. So uh, I guess you get rail late in the game, unless you buy it, obviously. Alright. Awesome. Who doesn't like trains, right? I want to know how you feel about these uh, mechanics in this game compared to other games. So the comment section is all yours. Before I leave you to check some of my other videos, Take a moment to smash the like button and subscribe if you want to be part of the crew. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.